Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm making a prong style ring using a 10 millimeter glass no hold cabochon. It was inspired by last week's live stream where I made all kinds of different prong rings. What you're going to need for this project is your glass heart. I'll link those up in the description below. I'm using Argentian silver wire which is a lot like sterling except it tarnishes less. I prefer to use silver wire for my higher end rings. I have a reamer to soften up the ends. I have my ring mandrel and my tools. I'm just going to take the same length wires, bend this at about an inch, make sure you give it a good push so it's a good right angle. Wind it around the ring cone. Wind it all the way around. Remove it and then just where you want to bend it up hold it with the flat pliers and bend just the shorter one straight up. Make sure it's like at a good right angle. This longer wire is to the outside. Put it back on the ring cone and wind this all the way around. So we're holding all those wires together. Give a little pinch, clip it, remove it from the ring cone, pinch a little more as you need. Push that down a bit so it's more flat. So you'll only have three wires sticking up and the last wire holds them all three together. But you'll see it's still wiggly so you want to hold these together. Just get a 22 gauge wire, hold this to one side. And we're just going to bring it through over to the other side and wind it th around three times. So there's one. Make sure you pull it snug two and three. Give it a clip and then we'll do this side. So one, two, three. You could do it two or three times however many you want. We'll give it a little clip and then you want to push these ends in. The ends are on top not underneath where the finger is and then also you can push these in so they're more discreet. So now we're going to push it back on the ring cone. You'll see it looks like that and then we're going to push two of these down One, two, the middle one's going to go straight up. So it looks like that. We'll just put it on a steel block and get our rawhide hammer and just push it down. Not to flatten it, but just to get it more securely down. And then we're just going to see where we're going to need to make these bends. We're going to line up our heart. And then we're just going to take these round pliers. Bring this up, straight up, rotate it, bring that one straight up so they're about the same and then this one too. Bring it straight up. So now we're going to want to see if the heart's going to fit in there. Just going to bring that one in here. Looks like it's pretty good. So now we're just going to take this and bring it around. Give it a little clip flush. We can trim it more after. This one too. Bring it around. A little clip. And this one too. Bring it around. And a little clip. 
So now at this point we can look at these and see how they have to be trimmed to be the same size. So we're just going to look at that. That looks good. And this one, not too much at the top one, just like that. So at that point, if you want to soften them with the reamer, you can. So now we can just open these up a little bit. We'll just stick the heart in here. We're just going to use our flat pliers to bring these in a bit. Just take these ends and bring them in a little bit. You can go in and give these a very gentle pinch. Go around, very gentle. And this one, this one too. And there you have your beautiful prong ring with the heart crystal. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.